Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Stardeus. Stardius. Starduce. Stardy? Us. However you want to pronounce it, basically, it's a super addictive colony sim uh, set in space. So let's start a new game. Our ship name is going to be the HMS Boosh, and our game seed is, of course, 42069, because I'm nice. a child. So basically, this is set in the future. The Earth has perished from the amount of architecture it had to withstand over the years. And survivors are roaming the universe in search of a new home. And then as it says here, you're hibernating in the HMS Boosh. <laughs> Uh, so we're trying to find a new habitable planet and I'm actually playing as an AI because uh, basically the, the ship sort of messed up and it had to find the, the most suitable brain to take control of this mission. And seeing as I'm an engineer, I was obviously the best choice for the job. Oh, and by the way, before we get too far, this video is sponsored by Paradox Arc. And if you boost my link in the description, you can get 20% off on the Steam store because this is part of the Steam Base Builder Fest. Uh, but be quick, that only lasts until January the 30th. So this is me. So if I just hit pause, I can show you the, the trouble here. Why I've been selected, because this is our ship. You can see it's been completely destroyed, annihilated, split into several pieces. Uh, this bottom piece looks quite strong though. Uh, and thankfully, that is where we're located. So this is us, as I said before, the ship computer. And basically, there's loads of like little drones and robots about that I can control. Uh, so I can build stuff, I can collect resources, I can demolish stuff, all sorts. I can do it with them. Uh, but that's not all. That's not all. If we head up here, we will notice in this area, if we press play, you'll notice there are two humans, some survivors of this. And as you can see, I've I've named these after my patrons. So we have Orc Top, we have I Am Destructor Man. You can see they're humans, um, but they can't really do a lot because they're essentially landlocked in here. You've got an oxygen pump. They've got a heater. They've got everything they need to survive. Um, and by the way, what I, <laughs> what I love about this, this mini planter that they can like, you know, there's some wheat growing in there. Uh, that also doubles up as a toilet. So you may see them pooping in there every every so often. Uh, it's just fertilizer. But anyway, our mission is to sort of not only save these survivors, but the, the main sort of whole thing about this ship is look at this. This is a stasis array. Inside there, there are several hundred frozen humans uh, currently all asleep in stasis. Uh, and every so often, this will be malfunctioning and new humans will, will pop out. And you'll see if we zoom in down here, here are three guys that didn't make it out. They just happen to be named after my editors. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, to be honest. Pure coincidence. But yeah, because at the moment you can see there is there's a hole there and obviously there's no oxygen. There's no heat. Uh, so pretty much as soon as they step out, it's just instant death. So it is our mission to rebuild the spaceship, try and return the HMS Boosh to its former glory and then sort of seek out stuff. You can see like in the background, that is a ship we can go look at. Right. So first off, let's head back to where I am because I am the most important. We've got all these little robots. You can see there's construction bots like Iron One and Bot Pound as well as drones. Yeah, and the drones just carry stuff about basically and the robots like build stuff. So first off, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep these guys going. They are they are the lifesavers. They're the only reason we haven't perished. Uh, so if we come into the build menu, we can come up to there and then build a charge station. So this will allow our robots to come and charge when they need it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shove one there and probably another one there to be honest and then if we press play you'll see the carrier drones they're gonna head out this way out the airlock there and then they're gonna go find some resources dotted around so they literally they'll go hunt them down themselves they're pretty clever so this one he's found some scrap metal so we'll take that we'll bring that back and whilst that's going on we've also got these these other things on the right that we need to do like quests so there's a spacesuit dotted around uh, so if you look you see that that is a spacesuit so if we if we grab that and press re locate. We can bring it in here because uh, this is where our humans are, so that would be very useful for them. Right, so also I mean that we'll head back down here because the charging stations are nearly done. Boosh and Boosh, they are in. The trouble is that we can't actually connect our power to anything because we're not making any power. So we'll come back into it. We'll build a matter reactor um, and I'll shove this like up there out the way. Can you see there's like, there's a circle? That's where someone stands to like fuel this thing. So we'll wait for that to be built and whilst we are, I'm going to head into the research tab. Look at this. Look at this for a tech tree. I mean, it sort of looks like it says something like 
sub to RCE or something. I don't know. But if we head into construction, what we want to focus on first is a winch. So we'll add that to our queue. Basically, what a winch does, it allows us to like to move these segments together. So you can kind of see we're split into three main parts as well as all these like bits of debris and stuff. Alternatively, you can you can like actually build. Uh, so you can use floors and walls and stuff and just just build together. But I do I do think I want to winch stuff. Um, so we're going to think about that whilst it's being researched. Uh, but for now, you can see the matter reactor is done. Uh, so next up, we just need to connect our network together because power is wireless in the future. So if we head back into electricity, we can build a connector. So we'll grab that and we'll shove that. I don't know. I'm, I feel like there is probably a good location. Lovely jubbly. And then all we need to do, we can click on this and then we can drag over to various objects to power them. So if we go from the connector to that, we now have power in our network. Yeah, and then we can also like drag this onto these. So that's like a lit floor panel. So you can see the area is lit up now. Very nice. So we can do that down there. Get a bit of light in here. Um, and also we need to, in our reactor, we need to make sure we configure it to use fuel. Now, what sort of fuel do you think there is in space? Well, there's all of these different objects that we can burn for fuel. Uh, and since we have the most of it, I'm going to use steel plates. Yes, we're going to burn steel plates for fuel. You can see Quest completed we've gained 50 percent technology of our research progress and we've been given a new quest to connect to the stasis array now remember the stasis array is these people over here the frozen ones uh, so thankfully i've already got the winch on the go but i think what i want to do i sort of you need to make sure when you winch that you're like you're pretty tidy there's nothing in the way uh, we want to make sure we're doing this properly so first off i think i'm going to hit pause i'm just going to mark out an area to be deconstructed i feel like connecting along here is probably where I want to do it. However, what is that? There is something in the way. A particle collector. Um, so I think first I'll move this out of the way using relocate. And I think this is something that goes on the, yeah, it goes on the outside of a ship. So it won't actually work on the inside. I think it like hangs off the edge and sort of collects particles, I, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of basically just demolish everything between there. So we've got some, yes, yeah, so we can just drag that up and then and connect nicely. I should probably see what that is first. A storage capsule. Let's open that. So our robots are on the way to do that. You can see they're moving. Oh, they've already moved it up there. Particle collector. So I'm pretty much free to start making a mess, basically. So we'll do we'll come to deconstruct and we'll just say get rid of like pretty much like all of that, I reckon. So you can see all my builder drones, they're coming over. They're gonna start destroying this place. And if we just speed up time, you can see, yeah, they're working their way through. Uh, but they are leaving all the raw resources behind. So once they're doing that, we do need to say haul and we need to grab all of that stuff and then move it somewhere. But as the bottom left has told me. Me. We don't have a storage unit and we can't build one yet because we haven't researched it. So back into the research tree, the winch is nearly done. So the next thing I want to research is in the technology tab, uh, just technology, because that has a storage unit. So we'll add that to the queue and then I'm probably just going to add some other stuff that I want to research afterwards. Now the trouble is the more we research, we run out of memory and disk space. Uh, so we can only research like a few things at once and then we might have to like unlearn how to to do them if that makes sense uh, unless we unlock computing which we can actually build disk modules and memory modules so yeah maybe i'll add that to the queue and then maybe some manufacturing oh and just now we've researched technology which means we can build a storage unit and get all this stuff moved so we'll go into the build menu we'll come over to facilities you see we have a repair station and a storage unit so let's build a storage unit and i'm gonna shove it probably in here somewhere so all of this scrap just floating about we can say haul we can literally grab all of that and say take it away and then oh no 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 press pause so you'll see shadow droid our colony 16 hours 53 minutes ago and then shadow died 16 hours 10 minutes ago so they lasted about 43 minutes um because they Oh, they are there. So they literally popped out of the stasis chamber because it's sort of, it's malfunctioning, I think. So people are waking up early and obviously there's there's no air or anything up here. So they're, they're just done. To be fair, they lasted 40 minutes before they died. That's quite impressive with no air. Anyway, with all that stuff out of the way, we can sort of see a bit easier. And I think
think we've, yeah, we've got the perfect lineup. So what I want to do, I want to build the winch. So we'll come down to special. We'll build the winch hook. Um, and basically, wherever you build this, it will sort of, it will attach to whatever's next to it. So we'll do that there. And then we know wherever we put the hook, that's exactly going to line up like li literally next to it. So the question is, do I want to move this left or right or literally just go straight down? I think I just want to go straight down. So we'll bong the anchor there directly ahead of it. Now, next up, I should probably start like trying to fix this room a little bit. So we've got like mega holes in this corner. So we'll build some floors. We got all different patterns and stuff. I want to, I think I want to like match the pattern what's there. I know a little bit sad, a little bit architectural, but it is what it is. So if we say build that, then we should be able to put walls on there sorted. And then if I want a wall down there, I should probably build that bit as well. Oh, and this has just popped up. I detected a reactor efficiency upgrade. So let's go find that. So this inventory shows everything that's on screen right now. So if we sort that by name, we should be able to go to, there it is, reactor efficiency upgrade. We can click find and then there it is, precariously hanging off the edge of the ship. But um, that's fine. We can say relocate and then bring it down here so that our robots can get it uh, into the matter reactor. Uh, meanwhile, while that's going on, you'll see the winch hook and the winch anchor are now done. Uh, we just need to power them up. So all we got to do is come into here and then build a few more connectors. So you can see these have a range. So we just got to make sure they're within each other's range. So we'll plop one there and then that will be in range of the winch. So that will be fine. Um, ah, and also now uh, we can now get this efficiency upgrade installed. So let's wang it in there. So you can see boy rotor, he's coming in and he's now installed that. So I think what that does, there you go. It makes the reactors use 33% less material, which means we're not just burning steel everywhere because, well, this might be a surprise to you, but steel will be useful in building the ship or rebuilding the ship, shall I say. Anyway, let's connect this power grid up. So we'll go from that one over to that new one that I built and then from here up to the winch. And then we're sort of ready to move this <laughs> very efficient looking part of a ship up to there. So we click on that, we say reel in, and then we choose which node you want to go to. So it's not the one, there is one in the middle. We don't want to go to that. So we want to go to there. And then here is the warning. Yeah, it basically says, don't cock up. Have you thought this through? Yes, I have. I've, I even cleared a space game, so we'll be fine. Confirm. And we've moved it up. And look, it's all connected. It's all connected. So now we can actually we can keep our grid going by building a few more connectors. So once they're built, we should be able to power this thing up. Um, but we need to we need to try and get a bit safer because we've still got like holes in the walls and stuff. So let's wall down there to block that in. I might delete this window, replace it with a door. So deconstruct window, construct a door. And then we should be able to get through that way. Assuming is that a door? Oh no, there's no doors there either. Okay, we need another door. We need another door. And then my robots can get into this place going in that direction. Lovely jubbly. And then we can connect our power to the stasis this array, which means we've completed a quest. Uh, and our next quest is to connect to the survivor area. So that's over here where, where Orktop and I am Destructor Man are. Oh man, Orktop has aged. He's aged quite a few years. I don't think he had gray hair at the start, did he? I don't know, but we can see other stats about him. We can see his traits. He's always hungry and insomniac and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a race. Um, anyway, so next up, do we want to try and anchor this over to here? I might build my way over there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, right? Let's destroy like all those walls. Okay, so that's the door. So that's good. That's the that's the that's the way in essentially. Um, it's probably worth doing a bit of repairing as well. So what needs repairing? All of that stuff. Yeah, we'll repair that. We should probably repair everything in this stasis area. So basically, we're gonna build all that as floor. And I feel like we're basically building a bridge. We've bridged the gap to the survivor area. We can make it safe by adding walls. And then we're pretty much connected. We can then take our power grid over there. And if we connect to if we connect to this and basically just turn it into one network, we will be able to control everything in there and we can help our humans out. Um, so I'm going to start from this end and I'm going to follow along here. I think I just want to connect to sort of like everything. Then we just need to build a few connectors. Oh, and I noticed here already built a disk module. So if we connect to that, we can we can get some more research on the goat. So back in here, our disk space is just doubled. We've now got 56. Are they Z 
Zeta bytes. Zeta bytes. Uh, oh, however, look. We don't have enough energy. So we need 68 kilowatts for 24 hours. We're only actually making 30 in total. So we'll get another matter reactor involved. Shove it next to that. We'll connect these rods together. Because as well, there's another matter reactor in the survival bit. So that will give us more kilowatts to play with. So we'll just bring this in. We'll connect that to the matter reactor. And we have completed the quest. And now we've spanned the gap. We need a bridge review. A two-tiled wide steel bridge connecting our brave survivors with their frozen companions and, and some dead editors. The walls have been double reinforced to ensure this ship does not break into pieces again. Overall, I give this bridge a space spanning 6.6 .6 out of 10 bridge review. Uh, the next quest, we got to pressurize the stasis array because uh, basically when our next humans come out... <laughs> our next editors. Uh, we're going to hope that they will actually survive. Uh, by the way, there's all there's all sorts of buttons up here to see all those stats. So we can see the electricity grid. We see we're now making 70 kilowatts using 41 and a half. So we're, we're pretty good now. Um, time to connect some lights up and stuff because it's pitch black in here. Now we've closed it up. There's no light getting in. All right, there we go. And then we probably want to vent up the place. So if we, we connect to these vents. And now I haven't done this before, so I'm not exactly sure. I think if I open this vent then it should pressurize this area here because there's there's a door there so that's sort of separated uh not gonna lie scared i might lose my patreons so let's us uh, i don't know sod it let's do it open so we can click on o2 and we can see what that's done i mean it has <laughs> It hasn't done a lot. Uh, there is now a bit of air in here, though. It's not going to be enough to get over here. Uh, so I think we're going to have to produce some more oxygen if we want to do that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to research biotech because uh, we're already 33% the way there, thanks to our quest that we did. Um, but we've just been told we are running out of food. So if we can make our own food, then our humans should survive. So let's get a cooking station on the go. Uh, thanks to the power of editing, that is now done. We just got to connect that to the network. Uh, I've noticed here, though, we have a big connector, a 1612 connector. So if I connect that to this, then we connect 16 different things to that. So let's connect that as well as the crafting station down there. And then we can configure this to cook survival meals. I am destruct, man. He's, he's doing the cooking. It's not a robot. We have a human cooking. Oh, over here, a human's just woken up. So Scarecrow, one of my other editors, he He's come out. Uh, he's not looking in the best of nick. He's looking at suited bird like that could have been me. Why am I still in this job? <laughs> Uh, but we're now on a rescue mission to save Scarecrow. I mean, ideally, we want to try and get him over to this place, right? So what if I were to, like, wall off here? Let's shove a door there. And then wall across like that. Oh, no, there's a dead person in the way. Uh, I can relocate them. I tell you what, I might just move them down a little bit. Is that is that wrong? Yeah, there you go. We moved them out of the way. Nice. Now we're going to connect this door to the electricity grid. So that's now shut. All right, so the O2 is nearly connected. I'm thinking about blocking off that wall, if I'm honest. Um, but oh no, there's a dust storm approaching. It's going to ruin all of our solar panels. Oh man, look at the dust. Look at the dust. It is everywhere. That's horrible. Oh my goodness. Oh, Top has come over. He's literally just walked all the way over. Hey, at least that means I've connected it properly. All right, so we've established a food production. We created 10 food, basically. So that's that quest completed. Nice. Next quest is hail a merchant. So we need a communicator and a teleporter so we can do some trading with people. Uh, we we then need to make our ship flight ready. Wait, where? Wait, what's? Who's that? Scarecrow. He's making a run for it. He's making a run for it. He's like, I'm hungry. There's no food there. Oh no, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? There should be. There should be oxygen there. I managed to join it all together. No. <laughs> Oh, no, he didn't make... Hang on. Oh, I'm not surprised he didn't make it, actually. It's not all about oxygen, Matt. Check the temperature. Minus 229 degrees Celsius. <laughs> He's not even wearing any clothes. Right, you know what? I feel like we need we need to get some engineering involved. We need to redesign this ship because that layout is it's not working for me. I'm not going to lie. Um, first things first, let's make sure our survivors are safe. So I will close that vent and then this is sort of air locked off. I want to do the same with this one so that if people come out here, they won't go for a wander or anything. Uh, and then I, uh, this is going to be sacrilege. Please don't hate me for this, everyone. But I'm going to delete the entire bridge. Uh, what will become will be far better than a simple 6.6 .6 rated bridge. So, oh, goodbye, my bridge. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the bridge for me. Anyway, all that remains of our bridge are the pieces. So let's say all those. Oh, no, I need more memory. 
I didn't have enough memory, so I can only do 320 tasks at once. Uh, it's not just research the memory effects, it's the number of tasks. So I guess we'll just do, we'll clear half of it. Oh no, the storage is full. Okay, we need to build another storage first. Now, haul all of those. There we go. There we go. Right, and then I want to get rid of the excess around here. We don't need all that. So we'll demolish like a strip down the back. We'll demolish over there. All right, then this should be disconnected, meaning we can sort of move it. So I think the best place for this is probably up here. So as before, we'll make some space. All right, then I want to build a temporary bit of floor, I think, down there. And then if I put a winch anchor there and a winch hook on, like, that bit, can I move it up there or is it just going to smash through everything and destroy everyone? I guess there's only one way to find out. So let's get those built. Let's power it up. So we have power to that now. And then, <laughs> what's going to end in tears? Let's reel in. Oh, no, the hook's out of range. The hook's out of range. Yeah, should have paid attention to that. Okay, we'll plonk it there instead. That should be fine. And then reel in that one. Oh, man, I'm scared. I mean, it shouldn't crash. Oh, what just exploded? What the hell was that? Micro meteoroids. Oh, no. Okay, we've got to do this quick. We've got to do this quick. All right, reel in, reel in. Confirm. I believe... Yes. Okay, we've, we've moved it up here. We've moved it up here. We've also connected to that bit, which I didn't really mean to do. But I think that's fine. Let's just build a load of floor. So I filled in the gaps. That should be good. I then need to do similar down here. So build a winch hook there, I think. We've got the anchor there. Right, and now this winch powered up, we should be able to reel in another part of the ship. So that bit down there. Yep, confirm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then we'll just make sure this is all connected with floors and walls. All right, and now everything is connected. Unfortunately, we've run out of steel plates. Uh, we could try filling it with something else, like glass, perhaps. So yeah, the lights have gone out, but here is the most efficient spacecraft you can make in the game. And I'm sure everyone on board will be fine, despite the lights going on and off and there not being any fuel and everyone sort of dying. At least we're making our new humans in the most efficient part of this. The right nut. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember, click the link in my description to get 20% off Stardius, but you've only got till the end of the weekend. And thanks once again to Paradox Arc for sponsoring. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and the strongest spaceship. Bye!